4.1.2.3 How are time periods displayed in the HTML representation? After the time period settings have been completed, the user has the option to modify the default settings on the visualization page. For access, a link must be created in the visualization. See Chapter 3.11, Page Navigation Concept, to view the current time periods on the visualization page. The HTML display lists the time periods. When you select the time period to be altered, a new window appears. The following options are available in this window. Name. Here you can enter or change the name of the time period. Begin. Here you can set a start date for the time period. End. Here you can set an end date for the time period. Hit Save to apply the changes. The editor must then be closed. Use the arrow key to navigate to the previous window. The Home button takes you to the home view of the schedules. Note: For the schedules to function accurately, it is necessary to set the current date and time. To do this, the current date and time must be received via the KNX bus, IP control center is slave or it must be synchronized with a time server, IP Control Center as master. If the date and time values are not up to date, it is possible that incorrect or unintended timer commands are executed. For example, if a date value from 2006 is set, for example after a voltage interruption, no timers will be executed.